today with another video and this one is going to be brought to you by the company of Tina Hair. Now before I get started on all the details, please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. And if you are subscribed to my channel, then please make sure to turn your notifications on so you do not miss out on any of my videos. I want to let y'all know that this is going to be my third time installing this unit. The first two times, I just could not get it right, like at all. But I'm hoping that this time around, it is going to be perfect. I'm hoping this time around, it's going to be perfect. You might see some old clips from the first time that I installed it. This one is their 13 by six and a half straight lace front wig. This one also is in the length 20 inches and it's 200% and now the first time around i did not wash the unit i just wanted to install it straight out of the package but this time around i decided to go ahead and wash it because of course i wanted to get that adhesive off of the front of the lace but this is what it is looking like after it has been freshly washed and you can see it does have a little bit of a wave pattern going on i did not do any scrunching or anything that's just how it came out of course when you take the unit out of the box it's going to be really nice and straight and it also comes with your two combs on the side a comb in the middle and also a comb in the back your adjustable straps and you also have this removable elastic unit does have their new clear crystal lace and i'm also going to include a clip of what it looks like when you put it on with the lace still attached to it this unit does have a very, very nice pre-plugged hairline. You're not gonna have to go in and do any extra plucking unless that's just something that you feel like doing. But if you are a beginner and you don't like to plug, then you're not gonna have to worry about that at all. Even though this lace is like kind of invisible, it should be easy for you to match it up to your skin tone without it looking too noticeable. And also throughout this lace, the knots are very tiny. So I personally wouldn't go in and bleach the knots anymore because I don't feel like they need to be bleached, but that's totally up to you. Also, I feel like powder, or if you want to add some tint spray, I feel like that's going to take care of it for you. The only thing that I did extra to this lace was add a little bit of my tint spray. So the second time around when I was filming it, I was a little bit too heavy handed with the tint spray and I ended up washing it again and most of that tint came off but you can just still see a very small amount of it. Went in with my Tailored Crowns Lace Overlay in the color um, Caramel. I just suggest not really being too heavy handed with it, especially because it's not needed with this lace, but I just wanted to tint it just a little bit more because when I put powder on it the first time around, just like my regular powder that I put into the parting space, it came off very ashy. So I don't want the ashy look at all. I want this to look really flawless. That rambling, I'm gonna go ahead and install this unit and hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, it comes out really good. The lace is already cut, so it's already looking good. And yeah, we're just gonna see how this turns out.
so the third time around is definitely it this install came out like absolutely so flawless like look at that i am just very very pleased with how that came out the lace is laying down it is all together and of course there are no baby hairs going on it is giving it an even more natural look this face i love because it goes back really far and i have to just part this in the middle if that's not what you like you can always go on the side but usually when my sleek looks i like to go with a middle part just because it looks so good it is 20 inches i feel like it's a little bit longer but i'm only 5'2 and anything over 18 inches usually looks a little bit longer on me anyway and the density on this is really nice you're not going to see any tracks I can feel that I am wearing a unit, but it doesn't feel like super heavy, which is okay with me. Like that they still have a good amount of density within the frontal area, but not too much where you feel like your unit isn't going to lay down flat. You have to work really hard to get it to lay down. You can see how nice and flat this is laying. Of course, my hot comb does go all the way up to 500 degrees, and I think I had it on like 460 just to get it to lay down really nice and flat because my hair is not braided underneath and I didn't want any humpiness going on at all. The thing I will say about this unit that I noticed is that I am experiencing some like flyaways going on like some of this hair just wants to stick up and also at the top of the unit I did have to go in with the adhesive that I use for the hairline just to kind of get it to lay down a little bit more and I went in with my She Is Bomb wax stick now i was not heavy handed with this because i did not want it to come off looking greasy up here just because the luster of this hair looks so nice and natural that i didn't want it to come off looking i highly suggest using some serum just to kind of keep it all nice and neat and not have the hair kind of going everywhere and then i used my olive oil fix it hole spray as you've seen for the hairline i was very very light handed with that spray because i did not want it to come off having a heavy sheen at the front of the hairline. I like this spray because it doesn't flake up and it still gets the job done. Now, will I go outside in the dead of summer and do I think it's gonna stay? Probably not because I do sweat. So if you want something that's going to stay safe, you might wanna look into some type of glue or something, or you can wear this glueless. I feel like it's good to wear glueless. You've seen what it looked like when I first put it on my head, but I have a small head, so I was gonna have to either go in with a wig grip and then bobby pin the sides of the lace down because i felt like that is what was sticking up the most it laid down really good up in here and that's why i went in with my adhesive the knots on this are very small so powder is going to conceal whatever knots that you might see i personally wouldn't go in and do any bleaching just because i would not want to get any bleach on the hair or worry about over bleaching it because it is already pre-bleached. As far as snags go, I'm noticing a little bit back here and that's where I really feel most of the density at. So I personally would just probably carry a wide tooth comb or you could just run your fingers through it. And I don't feel like it's going to give you too many issues, but I'm only speaking on right now. I have not worn this unit all day. This legs does seem pretty durable so far. Me getting that adhesive off twice and then also me sticking T-pins in the lace. I didn't worry about tearing it up or if it was going to tear up using a rat tail comb or my nails or anything. It seems to be doing just fine. But other than that, I really don't have anything else to say about this unit. It pretty much just speaks for itself. Like I said, this hairline is on point. Yes, yes, yes. I am loving the way it looks. It just looks so natural. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's install. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again. Turn those notifications on and I will see you guys the next time. Bye guys.